What's up guys, Nathan here. With the upcoming 3.6 Path of Exile expansion, Synthesis, I wanted to share some quick tips on how to have a fun and successful league start. These tips aren't going to teach you how to have a headhunter within the first 24 hours of the league, but they should at least give you a general idea of how to best take advantage of the most exciting time in Path of Exile's life cycle, especially if you're a newer player. Set Goals as you've probably noticed by now, Path of Exile is a huge game, and with every new league mechanic GGG adds, it becomes increasingly difficult to engage with all endgame systems made available to the player. So, if you don't want to get lost trying to randomly make decisions between what content to pursue, just make a list. It doesn't have to be overly ambitious, and it definitely doesn't need to mirror your favorite streamer who plays the game 12 hours a day. It just needs to have a realistic set of goals you can casually pursue over the course of the league. Here's a simple example of some personal goals I set for myself in Betrayal. Obviously, these aren't super hardcore, but they don't need to be. As long as they are just lofty enough to keep you busy during the first couple weeks of the league, they'll do their job of keeping you motivated, interested, and constantly playing. Pick a good league starter. As a general rule of thumb, good league starters have the following qualities. They're easy to level, require little to no currency to get into mapping, and can do pretty much all content. However, when picking your league starter, it's also important to consider the goals you set for yourself, as per my first tip. For example, maybe you and your best friend want to speed farm low tier maps with magic find gear. Then you two might consider playing Tornado Shot Deadeye and Aura Support Ascendant. Or maybe you want to sell Uber Lab carries and farm Helm Enchants safely and quickly. Then maybe Ancestral War Chief Champion is your best bet. Or maybe you want to kill Shaper on the first day of the league. Then Melee Skeleton's Necromancer could be right up your alley. Let's go back to my hilariously casual Betrayal League goals. Due to goals such as kill Uber Elder, target a Div card from a Tier 16 map, and farm Hall of Grand Masters, it seems like a build with strong single target would have been a great choice for me. In fact, although I didn't actually league start with it, I did indeed end up playing Arc Miner Saboteur to complete all three of these specific goals, which would have been a great option to start with. If you're still not sure what build you want to play, keep an eye out for next week's video, where I'll be releasing a list of the best league starters going into Synthesis. As soon as we see the patch notes, of course. Engage with social networks. This is a tip that is often forgotten by newer and more antisocial Path of Exile players. Pay attention to how the League meta is developing around you. This means having an active guild, being a part of informational discords, constantly checking Reddit and Twitch, and yes, even keeping an eye on global chat. The most overpowered builds and lucrative farming methods are not usually things you'll figure out on your own. Maybe Grimro will make a video about his Atlas farming strategy, or maybe Mathil will come out with another one of his fastest builds yet. The point is, the sooner you know about these kinds of things, the sooner you can use them to your advantage. Take Harbor Bridge Syndicate farming for example. As some of you may know, one of the best ways to quickly farm currency this past league was to get a build that could quickly complete level 60 syndicate encounters, stack as much move speed as possible, then run back and forth across Harbor Bridge for hours on end. I personally farmed thousands of chaos doing this just a few weeks ago, and I'm sure plenty of more hardcore players made far more profit than me. The way most people found out about this strategy was thanks to a fantastic YouTuber named Daekun. On January 12th, he put out a 13-minute guide that exposed this particular farming method to the general community, and barely a week later, the prices of all pure breach stones would go on to plummet by up to 30%. The point is, it really pays to find out about powerful builds and strong currency-making strategies before everyone else. Knowledge is power, so keep your eyes and ears open if you want to make the most of a volatile new league economy. Play efficiently. It may be tempting to try out all the new skills, pick up every armor or scrap you come across, and constantly reroll your builds. And while these are fine things to do, especially if you are a newer player or completely uninterested in taking part in the fresh economy, I would sadly have to recommend against them. As you've probably figured out by now, new leagues can best be summed up by the following proverb. The early bird gets the worm. Luckily, the early bird in this case is better described as a flock, because as long as you're mapping, bossing, or lab running within the first couple days of the league, it's pretty easy to get ahead. 
but if you waste too much time leveling, decorating your hideout, or doing any of the other stuff I mentioned, you're gonna have a bad time. I'm not saying you need to reach blistering levels of efficiency, it's just important that the time you spend playing should be spent playing with purpose. In fact, my first three tips are really just extensions of this one. Realistic goals will help keep you focused and not lagging behind, a good starter build will feel strong and prevent you from wanting to re-roll, and staying in the know about what lucrative systems are being discovered will push you forwards and upwards. Don't forget your real life. This may seem like a no-brainer, but once you've successfully taken my first four tips to heart, it can be all too easy to forget about the real world. To prepare for this inevitability, here are a couple of pointers for you to consider. Buy all the groceries you need so you don't run out of food. Secure time off from work, school, and other regular engagements. Make sure your family and friends know where you are and what you'll be doing. Remember to take care of yourself by not sitting too long and getting decent sleep. Generally speaking, it's important to remember that GGG does not engage in responsible game design. They don't time gate, they don't give you incentives to take breaks, and they certainly don't put artificial systems in place to maintain subscriber numbers. <gasps> because of this, you as the player are completely in control of how much time you invest in the game, so please, be smart and only take a league start as seriously as you can afford to. Have fun. This may seem like some hokey advice reminding you to enjoy yourself because it's just a game, but I'm actually dead serious. If you enjoy playing Path of Exile like a job, hitting level 100 within the first week of the league, and farming currency until your fingers fall off, go for it. But if you prefer theorycrafting meme builds, flipping portal scrolls, or just trying to kill Shaper for the first time, that's totally fine too. I've said it before and I'll say it again. Path of Exile is a game about setting personal goals then pushing yourself to achieve them. Don't judge yourself by the same standards that Twitch chat judges streamers. Lastly, if you feel like your interest in the league is dwindling or you're just not having fun anymore, don't hesitate to take a break. Continuing to play Path of Exile after you've burned out will take time away from other games and life commitments. Plus, since leagues come out every three months, it's usually not a bad idea to take long breaks so you're ready to tackle the game again when GGG releases new content. And that does it for my advice on how to start a new PoE league. I'm sorry this week's video was on the shorter side, but be sure to come back next week for my comprehensive guide to Synthesis League Starters. This has been Nathan, thanks for watching, and I hope you all have a great rest of your day. Thank you! Hey guys, thanks for sticking around for the best part of the video, and the best part of the video is where I thank my Patreon supporters. More specifically, I'd like to thank Real Human, Pete, Zikarak, Squally, Zuljan, Coda, Julia, and Alan. And I'd also like to plug my Discord. You can see it right there. This is where people from the channel come hang out, talk about Path of Exile. In theory, it should be a really good resource going into Synthesis, so definitely consider checking that out. And if you want to give me money for whatever reason, you can go look at my Patreon, which is uh, patreon.com slash NathanBrotherBob. Anyway, thanks for uh, sticking around this long, and I hope you have a good one.